Good morning guys, Ashantin here, how are you? I'm very, very excited and that is because um, I agreed a bit of a trade with Dorb yesterday. Oh, Fortune 3, Efficiency 3 are barely used, Dorb and lily pads. Thank you so much. Now, the thing is, dog short of diamonds. So I thought, oh, I wanted to have a look. Shadow's Girl has, not Shadow's Girl, Karma has put up a video of this. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I love the little inset lighting bits. Oh, look at the work, guys. This is obsidian. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at the work. Glass, obsidian, tiles. Good grief. That's beautiful though. I'll tell you what though, Karma. I think we ought to amend the end of your hall. Uh, because looking at, when you look this way, it's great you look at the nether portal. But when you look at this way, we're looking at sort of, um, you know, this stuff that I put in which does not look good. We need to um, even this up, I think I do. And at least if we put greystone or something like that, because this sort of half this, half that looks hideous in what is such a beautiful hall. So there's a, there's a task, I think, to have a look at. We're coming down to my hall. I'm going to maybe put a short cut through there to Jackson's through Winnie's. Now, I don't think either of them will mind because there's good mining of magma stuff down there and away down to the nether. So it will just stop them going through all the time. So let's go through here and quickly eat something. I had, uh, I had a very interesting day yesterday on the, in the afternoon uh, on the tree server in that I didn't do huge things, but it's things like, and I'm just looking at that now, you see a block missing here, and I haven't got a block on me, but you think that needs mending. And over on my, oh, good, the vines are growing, that's looking better. Oh, that works, in that case I will put more vines along there, because I think that adds a whole new level of depth to that, even though the vines are an iffy colour. I think that's great. But I'd left one or two blocks off, just the lining underneath these things, and I went through and I put them right. And on this side, I had a bit of an odd hole, so I've evened up that cliff face there. So just getting stuff looking, you know, a block here and a block there, it matters. Now, I have 14 diamond door and two of these, and I've got three other diamonds. Now, Dorg is short of diamonds, and I was going to give him three ore, but it struck me that that might not really be enough. Okay, so we've got 14 and a Fortune 3 pick. Let's see how many we can get. Twenty-nine. Now, if I take, that's 15 more than I would have. So I think, yeah, because we would have had 14. 15 is the extra. So I think that for giving me this pick, Dorg needs eight diamonds. Basically, I'm splitting See, I had 14, I've now got 21. He gets eight, but for a pick like that, that seems very reasonable to me. I was also running slightly short of lapis. Um, so let's, yes, nice, 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 nice. So all to the good guys. So I now have more diamonds. I would have had 14, I've got 21. Um, lapis. We're increasing again. So that brings my diamond count up to 24. 
and I think, oh god, dash it. We had a bit of a dispute, well not a dispute, a misunderstanding. Dog understood me perfectly, but I was not talking about diamond blocks. The other guys on the server thought I was talking about diamond blocks, which I'm not taking that with me, just in case of accidents. Some things are too precious to wander around the nether with. Um, so I think that I was going to just give Dorg the ore, but then I thought, well, that's crazy because he's going to have to use his um, fortune pick and that will lessen the durability on it, whereas I can just give him the diamonds. So I'm going to give him one block of diamonds. Shut the door. It's going night. Something might spawn. Oh, always a relief when I get through there. Okay. So down here we go. And dog is... Where's dog? There we go. There we are, dog. Oh, debts paid. You have other stuff in your box as well, my dear. Okay. <laughs> I think we should put a sign. I seem to spend most of my life making signs down here. I do use a lot of signs, actually. Oh, gosh, you're going to need sticks. I think we've all been here before, haven't we? Mostly with me down here, saying you're going to need sticks. You're going to need sticks. I could, of course, use the quick crafting table. So let's put this up. Whoops, and put a little sign saying... Do you know, I'm, I've been littering this place with signs. Um... One block of diamond, and that is a block. Thanks, Ash. And that would be enough to give him three picks. And Dog, if you are, well, I know you watch my videos, if you need more diamonds, um, let me know. I do have some at the moment. Um, I was trying to get a fortune pick. Um, this is offending me. Just looks so odd. Um, shall I leave that there? I don't know. This matches quite well. I don't object to that. Um, what I was objecting to was the the look of the um, the different clays together. Wow. I shouldn't use a pick this good in the nether. Okay. So we've got 12 here. Um, so I think... Okay, let's have a look at this. And far too many blocks. Oops. Oh, let's just um, make it temporarily light at the end of the tunnel. Lock that in. Okay, does that look any better? Well, it's not great, but it's better. It really is not great. But as I said, it looks better than sort of half orange. Um, I think we need to have a, a think about what we do here. I don't know, it's a big tunnel if we want to decorate it. And I'm never sure it's worth decorating a whole tunnel. The other thing is, if we get pit ponies, it would be very nice to have pit ponies. It's better. Just gives it the right look to go at the end of Karma's tunnel. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a great look, Karma, but it's better than that sort of peculiar thing that was there that had been left over. 
yeah it's not great with these colors but I like it better should we put one in the middle I don't think so let's not do that okay so here we are moving forwards so debts paid to door and that's a very good way to start the day it gives dog enough for three picks let's just quickly sleep while the going is good as we watch the fires burning up there i came on um was typing high dog and by the time i posted it i missed him so my decisions guys my decision is what do i do today quite an interesting idea of what I should work on next. Um, I've got that garden up and running. It needs a few more leaves and vines, but believe you me, I did so much leaf and vine work yesterday. Uh, I think the next thing, guys, is either a potato farm or a beetroot farm. Or a tower or any combination of the three <laughs> uh, now where do we put them that's the question I'm very keen on keeping the openness of this bay I don't want to build where I've got my cursor where these steps go down to the mine I think if we have a look over at the end here do a little bit of planning here um, let's go on a walk past our sunflowers Now, yeah, I'm thinking maybe, oh, now there's an idea. So I've got a hill here which virtually matches that tower there, and then I've got a hill there. So maybe we could have twin towers with a beetroot farm in one, and a potato farm in the other. This is a lovely area, isn't it? It's very pretty. And there's a sort of waterfall of sand there, which I don't want to mine out. Oh, look, goodies from skeletons. I don't need them, but I can never resist free stuff, can you? Hmm, yeah, I think maybe curving round I think certainly the red on top is a sign to me that maybe a beetroot farm there. I don't want hordes of beetroot, but I want to try some of the red clay as a building material. Because I've built a lot in the ordinary hardened clay, which looks very good. I'm just wanting, I have a lot of red clay, and I'm just wondering how that would look as a build. Um, red clay with red tiles, it might all be a bit too red. Um, but again, we are experimenting. We are experimenting. Yeah, I think twin towers down there would look rather good, don't you? And then we could look out between them. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so decisions taking. Now, this is just wonderful, Dorb. Thank you so much. I'm just going to have a quick look. I've got some books in here. Fortune and Efficiency. I don't want that. No. 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 That looks very nice, that Efficiency 3. Unbreaking, that's what I'm looking for, isn't it? I'm looking for unbreaking. Okay, I think what I might do is now I've got a few more diamonds because I was so short of them. I didn't dare do anything. I think what I'm going to do, I've got Silk Touch with unbreaking on. And I've got an efficiency four with unbreaking, which is great. Dog's given me fortune with efficiency, so I think what I need to do is try and get some levels and get unbreaking. So, the best way of... let's go and stack these downstairs. The best way of getting levels at the moment is the super efficient um, Enderman farm. 
that has been built. So, love it. And let's get rid of our bones. Um, let me take that with me. I don't want to take red clay with me. Um, I don't want to take that. I will take signs in case I need it. I'll take this. Have I any iron on me? I don't. And I've got a whole load of iron cooking up downstairs. Let me take some iron in case I need it. I've got books in my ender chest. Now guys, I don't know if many of you know how to get to the Enderman farm. So I am going to show you. Um, because I know people are beginning to sort of say, oh, what's oh, going the wrong way? We need to go through the nether portal again. But I'm going to show everyone the way to the Enderman farm, and I'm going to put a sign up um, so that they know which way it is. I'm sure people do know by now, but it never does any harm. To have a few more signs rather than less on a server. So let's go through here. There we go. And guys, this may be a bit of a, a long run, but I think it's worth it. Now it's actually through here, end portal. I presume that people will understand that is the Enderman farm. I think I might put end portal and end in the farm. Okay. So end portal enderman farm. Okay. Good. David did a great job on this yesterday. Absolutely great job. Oh, that's the entrance to MJ's place, which is his concrete skies. Got mushrooms and jungle down here. So let's go along this. That's quite a long hallway, this. Um, I know that Dorg is gradually decorating it, but this is a long hallway to do by himself. Um, so let's just go through here. And what he has decorated is really nice. I absolutely love it. Um, I might give him some more slabs, I've got some. I mean, when you look at this, guys, this is really nice. And doesn't this blue concrete go well with grey? I always like blue and grey together anyway. I'm never sure... Oh, that's the boneyard. That's the boneyard. Right, here we are at the end here. The end portal. Another long trek, guys, but I am showing you the way. And it's not that far. I mean, you know, we've had end portals that were a lot worse... Of a journey from this and in fact if we took a cut to the left I suspect it might be even quicker loading terrain here we are let's go through into the endless skies here we are and look at this guys now we don't have any sort of uh, pearl back to spawn um, yet. I love these looks, don't you, where it's almost like a an infinite corridor. It's not, of course, but it does always look it. Um, but they, they're such amazing things. It's incredible to build these things. Now, up here, this is our Enderman farm. And look at this, Enderman head. So the pearls at the moment are there for the taking guys. But if you generate a lot, at the moment you have to run downstairs and start loading the chests here. This is just great. Now, guys, I am not going to make you listen to all this. Bye-bye.